All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone live here with us on Twitch and of course everyone watching this later on on YouTube, welcome to the late night arena special. For everyone who's watching this right now live with us, Fabs and I, we're actually live two hours later than usual and for an old man like me that means it is two hours past my bedtime i just grabbed a coffee here and that means my entire night chat is gonna be cooked i'm sacrificing myself for this community today Fabs, happy to have you by my side mr top eight thank you thank you <laughs> not only mr top eight but mr qualified for regional finals of europe west Perhaps I, I think I speak for the entire audience when I say we are so proud, brother. When I Yo. saw that arena tag, you know, in the official stream, I was like, oh man, that is my boy right there. So can Yo. we get some big Fs in the chat? First of all, for our boy Fabs. And today, guys, you have a special mission. You have to keep us up here. You know, actually, usually we, we entertain them, Fabs. Today, the chat has to entertain us so we don't fall asleep here. But of course, we have a banger lineup in the pipeline. Here it is. Four sets only, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be exciting, Fabs. We have Subby versus Milo, round number one. Ooh. I mean, Subby barely missed that top eight pro competition as well. I saw that on Twitter. Subby, keep up the insane work because that rain, that Kitana, super, super entertaining to watch. True, true, true. I mean, one of the best players in Europe West. I mean, she is she's literally there already. She just needs to keep grinding and then boom. Like you're gonna see her in every top eight from now on, you know, it's really good. <laughs> and Milo also here as well the late night that is true yes our young shitter one of our youngest competitors i cannot even understand why he is still allowed to be up fabs <laughs> <laughs> that's his bedtime you have school tomorrow man that is true oh. yes i want to first of all we have to check if he already finished his homework but let's talk about this later <laughs> we have jesso versus a debut fight and i know that we have the player mk it's linkway but that is not the player who signed up today fabs sub zero linkway seems to be another new sub zero player in the arena who's playing for the very very first time today and i'm always excited when we see those sub zeros even though words on the streets are sub zero and chameleon might be top 10 contender Fabs, what do you think yes yes Sub zero chameleon are so so strong and there's also something really funny about this team is that recently almost every top eight we've been seeing a sub zero player there as well so it's really crazy uh let's see how uh the boys are gonna represent the sub zero <laughs> even though some sub zero players refuse to use chameleon i still think that's his best pairing. you know what i what i love the most about this community Fabs? like People were asking for Sub-Zero buffs for such a long time. And today I, I was a little bit lurking in the official NRS stream. And now since Sub-Zero and Chameleon is a somewhat viable combination, people are already talking shit about that. Like carried Sub-Zero oh players and stuff God. like that. This community is honestly different. I don't even know if you can ever make it right. You're either a low tier hero or you're a carried bomb. Yes, it's just how it that's is. true. And we see that in our YouTube comments all the time as well. Whenever we post like a Raiden Kano set, they're like, oh, this dude is carried. Then we post a low tier player who really struggles in certain matchups. Then the community says, oh, this player is free. Why, why is he even allowed to compete here? Like it is very, very hard to find the middle ground. But I hope today we can make this work because Hody, yes, he is here as well. Another potential Sub-Zero, even though Hody can play a lot of different characters on a high level. I don't think we see Sub-Zero from Hody's end today. I saw that he signed up with another character. But on the other side of the bracket, Buzz G. And you know what happens, Fabs? Whenever we see that art team tag in front of the name, we already know he's a sweat. Just absolute sweaty players when you have that art on the clan tag. I mean, they are here to represent. They are here to show why their team should be feared on the competitive scene. So, yes. so be many of them as well. I think we have close to 10 different art players competing in our events every single day. Super, super happy to have them. But then last but not least, the boy, the myth, the legend. Video games, yo. The Ooh. king of literal every single general Shao main out there is back at it again versus a player i saw the last time in mk11 fabs tc147 this dude was a frost main back then oh he's back just like that the from back. the shadows yes i love to see it so this is our car today before we dive into this first set once again a big Thank you for all the support lately. I see my boy Mr. Black once again, blessing every single one in the chat. 
Mr. Black, thank you so much for the generosity. Thank you guys for keeping this going. And of course, thank you for being here with us two hours later than usual. But now, Fabs, let's watch some MK1. Let's watch the good old MK1. The reason why we're here, the reason why we, we reunite every single day, you know, to, to have some entertainment, you know, some good old Mortal Kombat. Of course, we have to host these qualifier events, Fabs. That is our job at this point. And now let's take a look. Where is this sound chat? Everything is already going wrong. Here we go. Oh, it's Subby with the Katana. Zero as well in the Katana, not Chameleon. And Milo with the good old Giras that he's known for. In my personal opinion, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this or if I get roasted for this. I still think Gears is one of the most entertaining characters to watch in this game. I don't know. I oh. think he just looks super, super co cool from a design standpoint. Yeah, he has tools for pretty much anywhere on the screen. It's just that uh, a lot of Gears players don't think he's viable in this meta. And what a nut block from Subby. That read was a read up with the gods. But the Jinx from Fabs ruins it. <laughs> the confirm it. Oh. So we all try to whiff punish, and yes, that is not as easy to whiff punish as you guys think, because there's so much distance, even on whiff, you have to choose the right button for it. You really do, and Subby here showing us the katana, now going rain this time, you know. Oh, no fuzzy the, block there. Excuse what? me, what happened there? I think Milo teleported after the throw, and this is... Oh! And low, you always have to be like you. You know that how unreactable that overhead from Giris is, but he still has a low starter combo that he can literally cook you with. So, gotta be super careful blocking against him. My lord, got clipped by the lonely fan. There is another one, and now Subby is trying to get that first round on the board, but it is easier said than done. Not versus a player like Milo, you have to fight for it. Oh, there we go, the reflect. And I'm, I'm, I like how every, uh, almost every Giras is switching to Motaro after the Kung Lao nerfs. Stagger City, but Sabi, patient, like a turtle over there. Got opened up here, and this is going to be a juicy one. Even though the Motaro damage with Giras is slightly lower than with Kung Lao. True, but he still has so many tools. Has the plus frames and has the mobility. That's has right. also the, yes. the, the, the projectile reflect, you know? I think the plus frames are like, especially with Gears, Forever King uses that loadout as well. I think it is such a great cameo for Gears because he can just get that pressure started, you know? Rewind, saving him 25% health here for Subby. Oh, the command grab almost hitting. Spacing. In fact, I cannot believe it. Even though it is so late already, we are on a level two hype train with this community. Oh. Big Baba Frankie and everyone who's here with us right now, thank you so much. Milo takes the first round. Goes overhead this time. Even though that was the risky options ever, uh, he still... He still got it, you know, he still got it. <laughs> you know what, Fabs? I mean, whenever we're on the mic, we always ask the community something. I have the perfect question for today. Let me switch the camera real quick because I'm curious. Everyone live here with us on Twitch and everyone watching this on YouTube later on. When do you go to bed? I want to see how many demons we have in the chat. So, Fabs, what, what, what is you your, like, sleep? regular bedtime? When do you go to sleep? Um, it, it could be 11 p.m., 10 p.m., or it could also be 5 a.m. I'm just... <laughs> it just depends how, how what I'm up to, you know, what I'm up to. <laughs> Kani Mali in the chat is saying, uh, Hody as well, 4 a.m. Chat, do you want to know when I go to bed? Like, literally right after the stream ends. Like, 9.30, 10 p.m.? I'm already asleep then. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Dude, Kadi probably has school tomorrow, and this guy was just playing on the full comp and got number one right here. And he's like, I gotta go to sleep now. Yeah, guys, this is demolly, guys. So many people going to bed after 3 a.m. in the night. The grind never stops. Man. No, that is. Chat, we, we have to talk oh. about this. He's be going with the Rain Chameleon, which is this really. I think she started playing this team like two weeks ago, I guess. And this team is super good to just throw the Chameleon on neutral. It really is. And, I mean, Subby's reign is literally a force to be reckoned with. Super, super strong. Oh! He grabs in. Milo is already a punishable. Death on block. Is he be, is he Milo, let him cook. Oh, Spending wait. another Ooh. bar. He wants to squeeze out all the damage in the world. Close to 40. Oh, catches uh, Subby trying to bust on the wake up. Oh, I love that. Stopped? No, no fear for my love. Well, I, 
I was about to say that looked like a flawless block, and then I completely forgot that there are no flawless block up twos in MK1. <laughs> Perhaps it's too late for me. Oh wait, the, the poke special combos, but no confirm in the grab. Still has a little bit more health left. Slave, that was supposed to be an overhead. But catch is yep. trying to. Subby is good. sniping Milo right there. Trying to get that kidnap from. Oh, what a call out. He staggers. Ooh. Well, that is just good. Yep, the mix. That's what Chameleon can do. Beautiful interrupt on that tried breaker from Milo. No punish there. It's, I, I think it's not common knowledge about rain frame data in this game yet. Yeah, everyone knows frame data but like, against characters like Kenshi, uh, Johnny, Sindel, top tiers, but not against Raid. We don't really have this character that much. Oh. Nice. Wait, oh, is that what it Yep, Thanos snap. Is this gonna kill? He has Motaro Fatal Blow. He doesn't go for Fatal. Wait, why does he? Perhaps I think it would have been oh. enough, and he has to yeah. pay the price for it. He doesn't have Breaker. I think you can literally get a Thanos snap into a 45% kill blow. I that honestly is think this was a big mistake from Milo. It just like that, though. We get a game number two here. <laughs> Equalize on the board. Oh, Fabs, let me talk to you, brother. You know, most of the time I say, oh, it's going to be a great stream when, th when there is a game five in the beginning. Fabs, today I only want to see 3 0 sweeps. You know, <laughs> I my bet is waiting there for me, chat. Do you see <laughs> That's that? That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's why I'm here for all the, all the 3 0s happen, you know, when I'm here. Let's see that. Let's see. If only you could moderate your ambition. So, Subby won, Milo won. Who is going to take this? A beautiful set so far. I got to say that Rain Gear is always fun to watch. I hope you guys out there enjoy it. Fight. And Billy in the chat saying with the first time message, finally caught a stream, been watching the YouTube videos for a while. Billy, welcome. And of course, that is a big advantage today, Fab. Since we are live later than usual, we might see Ooh. a few new faces here in the chat with us. Yeah. Also on a Sunday, you know, people are just like probably finishing their dinners or like, you know, just ending their days with the arena as well. So it's pretty good. Watching this on my bed, Rich, she's coming <laughs> from that. Oh, that was a Ooh, great nice. read from Milo. I like the interrupt. Get sniped once again. Water bubble is active. Jake Blaze Oh, I like how Subby literally kitchen sink. Everything gets thrown out here. To survive on defense. Nice. Oh, cancel. The little cancel. Milo not able to react in time. And that means Subby takes the lead in this set. Oh. How can take a hold? Disgusting. This robbery, man. I love it. Plus frames. Armor immediately. No respect for those plus frames. You do not care about them here. Full screen footsies, but right now, Subby having the upper hand once again. Oh, look at that. These callouts from Subby. Super quick reaction time every single encounter. He loves that poke into Chameleon, man. Oh. Oh. What's up, the hourglass? Oh, that is a big one. Oh. That is literally a big burger incoming. Sponsored by Subby. Oh, the shimmy. Whoa. That was a nasty one. <laughs> Did you see how Milo tried to gamble? He <laughs> put his entire life savings on that overhead gas, and Subby said, no. I'm going for the low, my friend. I honestly have the feeling that this this might be a game five in the beginning. Uh, like <laughs> the day we're like we want to go to sleep <laughs> yeah. so early. Ugh. But no. Let's have a look. What set is gonna be next, though? Jesswo versus Sub Zero Link. Oh, that is at least gonna be a quick one because uh, Jesswo is kind of free in MK1. You know that is gonna be a three zero for the newcomer. Oh, Jesswo is gonna block see, me on see. Twitter for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> 
So you want to be Earth Realms BFF now? I oh, and Milo is going for top shower. tier Johnny Fabs. Round one, fight. Let's see if this uh, Johnny P. Johnny Motaro's uh, seems like he's a plus frames enjoyer. Oh my! What do you Hope think about this matchup? Like Rain Johnny? I don't really know much about this matchup, like per se. I do know that whenever you have a chameleon cameo on the screen, like anything can change, man. Like it's usually pretty much turns into a walking 50-50, you know. Uh, I would say though, once Johnny gets up close, <laughs> it's kind of game Rain over, man. Struggles, yes, especially yeah. when he has that corner position secured. It is so hard to get out of that pressure zone. Yeah, and something about uh, Rain is that his pokes don't grant him too much advantage on hit. So you kind of see uh, Johnny players just disrespecting everything. There we go, blocks it. No punish, but hits Chameleon though. Important. Shadow kick. There we go. Need a stunt double? Round two. Fight. Good blocks, good patience from Milo, but that is a big whiff, and Sabi gets the punish. Oh, but this is where things start uh, shaking up. You know, your opponent is getting really close for that game five. And you're like, how do I counter this, man? How do I stop this train? That was a good Ooh. read. I like that. Beautiful punish from Milo. This is why tournament nerves kick in every time, you know? Everything you're doing doesn't work, and everything your opponent does all of a sudden is working, and you need to think really fast. There we go. Nice call out with that jab to interrupt the Motaro. We see a lot of reads from both players. I honestly like what I'm seeing. Pressure, staggers, Sabi with the call out again. Milo stealing the turn back. Oh. Ooh. Still keeps it alive. So I'm said every poke from uh, Rain doesn't give him too much, like, too uh, much advantage. Oh. Ooh. Fabs, I think at this point they just try to bully us. It is a game five in the beginning. And every single one in the chat, you guys know that you have a mission today. You have to go crazy. Give us a game five. Give us some hype. Because <laughs> you know what? You know what? We deserve it, guys. We deserve it, right? So everyone who's here with us, first of all, thank you so much for spending time with us once again. This is going to be our late night arena special. Four sets in total, but every single set is going to be a blockbuster in my opinion. Can't wait for it. But now let's find out who is going to win. Is it Milo? Is it Sabi? Fabs, do you have a guess? Oh, I don't know, man. Game five momentum currently shifting towards Milo. Uh, but the adjustment is, you know, imminent from Stubby as well. Let's get it. And Milo right. first hit secured. Can't get the full combo. Armor immediately. Oh! There we go. The Kani Mani special, man. You, like, you're chilling in the neutral, boom, Perry chops in, and you're just, you're dead. Did he just dash into the corner? Like, that yes. is a new level of confidence. Ooh, no whip punish! Chat prediction, interesting. We have 71% on Milo. Wow. It's way too close to the uh, 71% here. Hit five. And now... It is. Wait, whoa, 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 oh, that was sexy. Oh, that was a piece of art from Milo. I love that. Motaro teleport into micro backdash. Stagger into teleport has to be the most demonic thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi now with the corner advantage has a, a Melina. Borrow active and then wake up. North. This is what we're doing here. Milo's like, I'm not holding any of the pressure. I'm jumping. Wait, that's going to combo. Oh, what is going on? Oh, Milo had the hit. And here is the hype. That means pressure. What? What, what? what are these cancels? Oh. He didn't leave the corner. Oh, look, at, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. This match is so close to be over. Sabi gets oh, outspaced. Man. And that means... No. no. What? No. No. <laughs> he tries to talk from Milo. Oh, I man. I am officially oh, done. Bring it. Johnny Cage wins. Chad, we, we have to talk. Actually, Fabs and I, we wanted to have a laid back, relaxed event. And this is, this oh, is the start we get. Like, game five into T-Bags. 
You guys have no mercy guys. with us at all. He's probably mad at the chameleon, you know? <laughs> He's like, you play chameleon against me? All right, hold these bags. <laughs> He Perhaps. said you bagged me once in combat league. That's why he bagged me. <laughs> I forgot about it. Oh, Chad, what are we doing here? Let's take a look at our lineup card, Fabs, because there is more. Coming up next, it is time for the boy Jesswo. We haven't seen him in quite some time. I'm Ooh. pretty sure that Jesswo right now is maining Reiko, a character we surprisingly don't see that often lately. Wait, really? Reiko? Yes. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, he starts the game immediately, but oh, this guy is one of them. This guy is sweaty. Didn't, oh, he didn't need to burn that though. What? We got back throws? Okay, this is Heidi, by the way. Level 15, doing back throw, chameleon, fan lift combos. I know who you are. I know who you are. I have let's a feeling, out this is. I have a feeling. No, this is, this no, is no, definitely no, no, no. not a new player. No, not at all. No. <laughs> this has to be a Heidi account. This is level 15, he's doing that! The glaive, plus frames. Overhead guaranteed, by the way. Wait, wait. I will analyze it. Wake up Perry, okay, not kind of money. Kind of money is a lot, by the way, but let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who is a Johnny Fire that does this? Guys, Creed is not from the Middle East, he's from Africa. That's different. It's not Creed. We'll be in touch. We're debunking. We're debunking the, the, the theory here. <laughs> the chat is trying to he figure says. out who this player is. Good anti from Jaswa. Bro, he even starts the game with literally like a, like expecting Jaswa to jump as well. I want this guy to make top 32. Controversial, but I do have focus. I want to see him play. Oh, and that first time message is crazy. Did you see that in chat, by the way? Someone in the yeah, chat said, I want to be in one of these tournaments. I would cook. Oh, that is a second. First time. First time message. More pressure. Just war. Back against oh, the wall. Oh, man. He's looping those, uh, that, like, the, that pressure is being looped so well. Overhead and available as well. Oh, no overhead. Okay. You have Glaive. You have Glaive. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, and Jazwo, Jazwo, Jazwo. It had to be, I'm sorry it had to be you that had to face the Heidi on the debut account. So, Offsetter, in the arena for the first time, level 15 profile. And this man is playing like a freaking god. He really had level 15. Level 15 account. Oh. Unbelievable scenes we are witnessing again together. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's take a look if Jess was going for a character switch. No, sticking it out with Liu Kang right now. Me too, Liu Kang. Round one, fight. All right. Oh, wait, 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 Jess. There we go. There we go. Both to live. Jesu is in the chat calling him out saying, show yourself. <laughs> he wants to know who this is. Show yourself is crazy. Oh, my, I like how he covers up the airspace every time with that Melina. There we go. Pink and neutral. The good old reliable. Oh, he tries Jesu to press. Caught. Once again, there is the break button. Now he has to be careful. No, oh, they're so disrespectful, man. <laughs> Duck OS or micro block or whatever the hell that was. Yeah, well, I think we can all agree that this is definitely not a new player. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jazz, I'm sorry it has to be you getting cooked by <laughs> offset. <laughs> oh, beat the stagger. I swear that, to God, Fabs, Offsetter is probably lurking in the Discord for whenever we call for a jump in, and then he's immediately there trying to make these players mad. This guy really doesn't even have all cameos unlocked. He just put the chameleon and said, you know, let's do this without my loud hat or whatever. Let me just cook. 
Go. The pressure. Oh, we see the knuckle S from Jasmine. It's not gonna help you out. He tried it. Oh, we'll get shimmied by the board floor. Okay, corner position. What can Jasper do with it? The good old forward 4 BNB from Liu Kang. No way he did use the plus frames from the glaive to jump over and give him the corner positioning. <laughs> Sweaty. Oh. Ooh, more plus frames. Nice stuff. There. Oh, wait, 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 wait. there we go. Okay, wait a minute, everyone. Jaswo is slowly adapting. Fight. By the way, our newcomer in the chat who said he would cook everyone is uh, when the community said he should fight the villain, he said the villain is too easy. Listen, OG Steven, <laughs> you just sign up on the Discord and then we'll see you. We'll see you how you're doing, okay? Sign up and let's see you cook everybody. Challenging B is. Everyone just challenges the villain nowadays, don't they? Okay. You know what? You know what? Everyone put a one in the chat if I should call the villain right now. I'm literally calling him. Oh, it's gonna be the most demonic and <laughs> late night beef. We gotta get beef set today. I'm so here for that. I'm getting it. I need a drink for this. Immediately. Jasbo though. Jasbo with the blue flame. I like it. Okay, Jasbo is answering back. Offsetter losing that first round and that means everything tied up again. Now the problem here with this Mr. Heidi account is that even if he wants to counterpick, I don't think he can because he doesn't have every cameo unlocked. So he's really stuck with this Johnny ch Chameleon, you know? <laughs> Okay, OG Steven in the chat, if you're listening to me right now, I literally messaged the villain right now on my- Oh, he's already typing, chat. He is already typing. Oh, what? What? It's like you have like a bad signal, but the villain signal- Oh, he's pissed. The villain literally sent me a message. Hi, Rip. Who is talking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, chat. Who is talking? The villain bald sick. I said bad signal. Someone said bald signal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the drop! Wait, 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 wait! Offset just picked Luke Kang. He just married him. Oh, wait, this is not B, right? But, but, but is, like, is this the villain Junior? Don't just mirror him. On the level 15 account, he's like, you know, I'm not only I'm a, I'm, I'm a Heidi, I'm a sweaty Heidi. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't drop this, Jazzwo. Don't drop this. Boom, boom. Is this going to deal 170 damage? I wonder. I mean, it's MK1. It's MK1, and this is 50%. Oh. It is an honor to fight you. Round two. Fight. Jazzwo there, surviving. Delegation. So much zoning going on. Oh, gets the kidnap. Jump in. Nice stuff. Gets Oki. What's for Oki? What's for Oki? The double dash into back throw. Loop, baby. Boink, 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 boink. Oh, filthy wake up jump from Jazzwo. Another throw. Kidnap, and we're back in the game. Oh, this is tough. This is such this a sweaty mirror. This is back all the time, Fabs. Bro, how is this guy going from Johnny Chameleon straight into Liu Kang Lao? When he said, like, when he told you he was from the Middle East, this is what he meant, by the way. He said, I, I play multiple characters and I'm sweating with all of them. This is what being from the Middle East means. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to play Baraka Striker after he loses. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, he just poked back on hit. That was oh, I like that little back dash. That was a beautiful read from Jasper. Calling out the counter poke. So clean with it. Oh, 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 for an empty the... jump, but had to pay the price for it. I like that side switch from Offsetter. Oh, doesn't armor break that? No, that was so good. Jasper on the map right now. Two one.
The boy Jasper, not impressed by that Heidi account at all. He is officially on Matchpoint. Alas, thank you so much for the resubscription, brother. And for everyone who just tuned in, after this, it is time to switch to the PC side of things. Buzz G versus our boy Hody. This sounds like a banger. Fight. Oh, 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 oh. The fact that he's locking in with this Liu Kang is demonic. Who I like to stagger the walk back, shimmy, everything he's applying right now. This is what playing Liu Kang is all about, you know? Being able to get that strike throw, applying the shimmies. Overhead. Do you have one more throw? Do you have one more throw? Ooh. This could be Jazzle's turn. No, it is not. Did you just break the third hit of a hard knockdown? Maybe he saw something. The prophecy. The Jazzle prophecy. Another grab. Don't think he's going to recover Lao Hat in time. Yeah. No reason to attack right now. Oh, now it is! The little delay on that 4 by 4 offsetter tried to press when he shouldn't. Oh, honestly, that breaker from Jazzwood was good because he got the breaker from offset right after, so. Looking for the opening, no punish in the poke. Ooh, Kai's just walking back. Offset, getting something going right now. Hard to boot. Not so lockable. Oh. The way they open each other up in this matchup is, is demonic, man. Boss block as well. Ooh, he's covering so many situations. And here we go, baby. Here we go. Technically, one opening into Fatal, it will do it. Wait, that's not going to do it if he goes into Fatal from here. But it is, is going to put him on life support, though. Oh, both Maybe of them like are mashing. Yes. Maybe a fireball from offset is going to kill Jazwell. So Jazwell needs to be careful. He tries to duck. <gasps> no way. Yo, Jazwell trying to duck after that? <laughs> so, we talked about it in the beginning, saying, you know what, today we actually don't want to see game fives. And what's happening, Fabs? Back to back game five action. You guys are trolling us at this point. <laughs> I see the AOs in the chat already. Chat, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for spending time with us on this beautiful Sunday night. Let's see, Jesswo versus Offsetter. Pretty interesting match, super close matchup. I didn't expect this at all. But Offsetter, definitely not a newcomer. What is your role in your timeline? I'm a global martial arts star, aren't you? I know we didn't play today. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What is this cursed stream we have here in front of our eyes? This lineup is cursed. Every it literally is cursed. Beautiful opener, oh. Jesswo in the driver's seat, at least for now. Wake up, Violence! It is really, this is, this is a Violent Mirror match right now. The fact that Alta dropped his loot chameleon just to go for uh, the mirror is so impressive. And Wait, maybe, maybe how much? this is one of my... Okay, Jesswo got Breaker back. One of my favorite mirrors might be the Liu Kang mirror. It's not like, there's no overheads or lows here to rob each other. It's mostly just literally strike throw. Oh, barely whips. 20 health for offset. And he still commits. And stays he on. <laughs> it was the right call. Do you right. think we're going to see bags when the set ends? Oh, I have a I bad feel feeling, Fabs, like about this. I, I think we might see them. This is the start of a, of a villain story, okay? Jazwo, you were sadly the one who 
was there to, on the debut. Oh, the poke back dash disrespectful, but it works. Oh, the hard to block the setup. No cool out there for the throw, but still gets some good damage. Extends a life lead. Oh, but that was a clean what? with punish. Oh. We have to give oh. that one to offsetter. Just for in trouble. Oh. He needs to break. Oh, that was fireball. smart. Yo, who is this? Who is this? He did drop that at the end. Big breathing room here to work with. But look, Jasmine's gonna put offset in the position where uh he's gonna have to guess. Offset has to guess. Oh, this is such a terrifying position. Dash up! He tried to grab him and has to pay the price. Offsetter takes it and this looks I was about to say it looks like a fatal, but no, we just close it out in style. All business. Wow, what a set. That was a freaking great one, though. I didn't expect this at all. Jaswa and Offsetter, thank you guys so much for playing. And you know what that means, Fabs? We are switching to the PC side of things, where the next two players are waiting for us. Let's take a look who it is. PC time is literally my favorite time. <laughs> I am so happy that we are fortunate enough to be able to host these PC sets on a daily basis. Because, mm -hmm. yes, Fabs, you are right. There are so many sweats over there. Yes, one of my favorite players, DJ, plays on PC. And it, it's always a pleasure to, like, always uh, be able to see him and stuff. Now, we do get some premium, premium players here to pull up. And we get the art scene. Let's see. Let's yes, see. Bus G versus the boy Hody, and it's always so beautiful when we have an art player on stream because his entire team is rooting for him in the chat every single time. <laughs> okay, see, give, see, give me your thoughts see, on the matchup. See, let's see, let's see. Okay, to be honest, every time there's a Lao on the screen, it means that neutral will not be played. Okay, neutral is just gonna be uh, just disrespected. I do think that Melina Lao hat is one of the strongest teams in the game. Though. This team is underrated as hell, and here we go. You blink, get hit by the armor, and you die. 30% already clocked. Oh yeah, and that mix up, by the way, that that string, how did he block it twice already? Oh my god, he's gone, maybe. But I see every time I see on Pro Comp and Boki is, uh, is playing, he is obliterating everybody with that string. It's such a simple string. Mid, low, mid, overhead, but it just kills people. Tries to shimmy, but Basti with a very good defense so far. Oh, what an opening. Stagger into mid. We love those. Okay, he didn't really take advantage of that low hat, but still, stays in neutral. Stable. Armor again. Do it again. Ooh. He's got for blocking that. A block! Yo, yo. Holy, with the matchup knowledge on deck, this is a super close match so far. And there is a punish. He missed time the meaty. And Holy punishes it accordingly. That was wild. That was wild. Oh. Great entire on the cross jump. Holy is saying this is a no fly zone, my friend. What he really said, my Lao is rusty. Bro, you literally play sub zero. What's going on here? Mm. He put himself in the corner, doesn't care. He's, he's going Lao. I'm in the corner. No, you're in the corner. Oh, oh. The, the ghetto mix. I, I still have to ask you, Fabs, is it a true 50 50 or yes. is there any way to OS that? Trust me. I, the only way you can escape that is by armoring or by guessing. You either armor or you guess. Trust me, I saw BGY die to that. I died to that on the pro comp. I, I remember see that. The match. corridor died to that. Yes. Everybody's dying yes. to that. You're right. Now, since you mentioned it, Boki makes the shit out of the players in pro competition. Even me on me on, on Saturday morning, I, I was playing. He, he was my game for top eight, and he cooked me. It was I was I was losing my mind, man. You can either armor, but the thing is, on knockdown, if he meets with that move, you can't really armor it because you don't have enough frames to input your arm. <laughs> it's just it's a weird combination there. But yeah. Okay, Bashi is trying to answer back.
Oh, he says, if I lose, I'm picking another character. Why would you lose? You're, you're cool. I was so clean. Kung Lao honestly has top five potential. Like in the right hand, okay. this character, yeah. his yeah. offense is one of the best in the entire game. You know how I said it? How uh, after Striker and Lao Hat got nerfed, like Kenshi and, and, and Raiden became even better. Well, Kung Lao also became super, like way better because a lot of it... Uh, anyways, a lot of his bad matchups and like uncomfortable matchups did get nerfed. So, what is going on? This interaction is like crazy. If you tell me he's top five, I'll believe in you. Take top six, I'll believe in you. Ooh, no, no Joko S. Yes, that could have been the win for Buzzy. Okay, hold your hell, breaker. There it is. No way. Another second time. Crucial whiff. For the second time, Buzzy has to pay the price for this. Your spirit is Round Second two. time it happens. And hold on a minute. Hody not play some zero this time. I remember last uh, season, he was awesome zero, you know. He was like, I'm tired of this. Yo. Our live chat is saying, new title for YouTube, best sub player shows he can play low tier. The problem is, uh. guys, I'm honestly struggling with the, with the YouTube titles. I get roasted for clickbait every single time. When I say he is the best, then people say, no, he is not. The last time I tried, he is the most unique because Sub-Zero Shujinko. Then they told me, no, that is clickbait as well because he is trash. It is, it is very, very hard as a content creator out there. You can never argue with YouTube comments, man. Finish. And Hody, 2 0. Oh. And I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot more of Kung Lao's and Tanya's and uh, armor special characters, you know, in this meta. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> TQT is saying that's YouTube for you. It is honestly so hard because I always think, you know what? The the trick is, um, of course, the title has to be a little bit catchy, right? Because if you just put, for example, there is a sub-zero in this video. No one is going to click on it, Fabs. Let's be honest. So yeah, I'm true. always trying to make it a little bit interesting. But when, I, when I'm when i too direct with the title, then people say that I'm spoiling the result of the match. And that is bad yeah. as well. So I have the feeling no matter what I do, it's always it's always wrong. Your point is moot. Round one. Fight. Titles are always misinterpreted. People always have their opinions into everything. But hey, Hody up 2-0. Looking like a 3-0 type of 2-0, but unless I see an adaptation here from Bungie, then this might be a disaster. Hody on this new character as well. I'm liking it. So Bungie, the boy needs the reversal 3-0. Oh, the oh, way to pick up. Dude, I, 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 on everything I love, it's so hard to pick up th those allowed teleport conversions because of the gravity gets reset. And Hody just did something very impressive right there. Like, uh, it, it really passed the eye test for me. Yeah, his Lao is ready. His Lao is ready. This, this Lao is ready for <laughs> Drop your sub zero and stay on the Lao. And let's see how far you go in this uh, season, please. Overhead time. Plus rapes. Ooh, Kai doesn't try to jump. So aggressive. You think it's your turn? Nope, I'm here with my lab. Hody, this man is barely getting shimmied so far in this set. Oh, I feel like Bushy died in the set to yes. delay wake up. Delay wake up. I think he kept this time. Yeah, Buzzy died in this set every single time because he slightly mistimed his button. Like in every single round, we saw the same oh, thing. Wow. GG's to both of you guys. What a set. Amazing set. Um, amazing set. That was a good one. And that leads us to the final set of the night. And of course, Fabs and I, we saved a little blockbuster. For every single Mortal Kombat 1 fan out there, it is the boss Shao himself. Video games, yo, back at it. Yes, he truly is the, the final boss of the, of the Shao Kahn's here. Uh, funny enough, he's been playing multiple characters now. He's been, he's play, he plays Blue, he plays uh, Baraka as well. I've seen Johnny on his hands. Shang Tsung Goro as well. Such a talented player. And Hody, yes, I do mean it 100% with my heart. Your Lao is really, really good.
Press so the, your the problem game. is, and I want to be honest with you, Fabs, even though I know that VGY is the favorite in this one. TC147 in MK11. This man was in Omega Sweat. I'm not even kidding. He was insane with Frost. One of the best Frost players I've seen back then. The question is, is he such a sweat in MK12? Let's see. Let's see. I mean, usually the skill does transfer from that game to this one. I, I, I can fully like, confirm that. But the fact that your character is not here, like you have to find that place as another character, and that might turn you off in the game. You know, because like just because you mained uh, Frost in MK11 doesn't mean the Frost cameo is good for you. That's an entirely different archetype. And that is a very interesting topic to talk about. Um, we actually talked about that a lot right before MK1 launched. The question was, are the MK11 top players going to be top players in MK1 as well? And back then we didn't have a real answer to these fabs, but now watching how the competitive scene is evolving, they are. Like literally every single MK11 oh, yes. top player back in the days is now a top player in MK1 as well. And I think that is yeah. so impressive to see. A very good example is just have a look at the pro competition of yep. Europe or Europe, yes. like West and East. Every good player that was good in MK11, I mean, every good player that is there right now was good in MK11. Every single one of them. You cannot escape that. You cannot like, deny the fact it, that it is crazy. how it is. I still remember all the comments back then saying, you know what, all these players, these MK11, these Jackie mains, you know, yeah, they're, right. they're not going to succeed in MK1. But the truth is, they are insane. Mm -hmm. Kanimani, one of the big, big examples, of course. But oh, no, yeah. let's take a I'm look. I'm not going to lie, man. Kani might be like top three in this game, like top two players in this game, man. I, I, I can't lie, it's crazy. All right, video games, yo. Who are you going to face? What is what is uh, this matchup gonna be? I'm, a, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm very excited I see Melina. Well. I see Melina, combat card. Let's have a look at it. Last match of the night, video games, yo. What is the character, oh. is it Peacemaker? Oh, I remember v VGY said today, he wished Peacemaker was legal for pro comp because this is all he's been grinding. Like, he, he thinks go. this is his new man. What? Okay. I thought he was going to play Kenji. I almost lost no it. No way. Oh. Lee Mei oh. Serena. My heart. Lee Mei Serena. I don't, know if, I don't know how I feel about that. I didn't expect that. Seems like Lee Mei always needs like a little ambush to make her uh offense even stronger but you do get that neutral stability with serena that just you know boosts your everything you have by by 25 percent technically but what what the, i was talking about lee man what is happening i don't know who's even on the screen both invisible magic are these what two having a, a little beef already in the character select Oh man, let's go, let's go. We're gonna hear Eagly at least 10 times today. <laughs> oh wait, and PGY with the red, the red Peacemaker. Oh, Torpedo. First pick confirmed from PC. It's just eagles everywhere, man. So many eagles flying across the screen. You think it hurts the eagle? I just like fly through someone. One hundred percent. Nice blast block. Big punish. Show me that damage. Show me that damage. I, I think that's forty percent BNBs. Yeah, he, he, he gets forty for one bar. The thing Even about Peacemaker is he has so many options no matter where he's at on the screen right now. Like close up, yeah. mid screen, full yeah, screen, no even hit confirmable Rain. combo starters. Yep. Very strong. Yep. You look at that 40% that gives you good positioning as well. Oh, that frame one projectile immunity. Pretty much like a sub zero on player, but just better. Look at it. How rare is it to see a, a Serena Blade get punished like that? It's really rare. But Peacemaker got it like that into a 43 burger. Oh, the cooldown of Eagly was still down and they both just... Oh, wait. This could be... Jover? Is that? 
Fabs. I like what I'm seeing from both of them. TC going for the mirror match. The main question is, do we see the switch now? Is he going to go back to the Lime? Fabs, what do you think about mirror match in general? Do you like them? I like the mirrors if it's like an honest mirror, you know, like a Liu Kang mirror is cool. It's a strike throw. But if you show me like a like a a mirror where both players keep like just mixing each other, then I, I like remember like the MK11 Sub Zero mirrors. Oh, don't get me started on those. I had nightmares from. I had nightmares. I have nightmares. Lee May, Peacemaker, Striker, Serena, Dark Cotton. So now we see the character. Kill we saw on the character select screen first, TC switching to Li Mei. Round one. Big kill. This OG pick of the stat. Ooh, gotta be careful throwing projectiles against Mr. Eagle here because he does have that vulnerability. Oh, it's mixed. So VGY pretty much also going striker just means he, he adopts dark side, you know? Torpedo. Oh. Force field. That was a punish. Get his shield on. There you go. Force field immediately. Can we talk about how fast that startup is on the force yeah, field exactly. and the recovery as well? It literally makes Zero Jacket useless. It makes the J-Blow useless because he's on frame one. It's ridiculous. But you know what? People say he needs it. Oh, that torpedo was so risky, but like, it works. It works. This is literally Peacemaker. Risky, but it works. Oh. It's like hydrogen bomb and coughing baby. Like these two characters, like one was way too over to the other one just barely even giving any attention to <laughs> yes. in the developing room they took like five minutes to make lima and like 10 days to make peacemaker god damn it oh, oh off screen he also has off screen grenades man it's like, oh my. video games deal with the second combo drop in the set though wait jesus what was it blocking shimmy we go take his turn wait did she just he somehow OS that string. Did you see that? He's in the middle of the grenades and none of them hit them. Oh, but that can fail. <laughs> no, Jordan. That is not allowed, my friend. This man is going for back to back brutes. And Video Games is yo, uh, Video Games yo is saying, Welcome to the arena, TC. Literally, welcome to the arena. Peacemaker's entire moveset looks so freaking goofy. <laughs> oh man, I, 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 I want him to be like, when everyone starts, you know, being real about Peacemaker, to see the way he places on the tier list. Because this is looking like a top, top five type of character, you know, as I was saying. This is too good, too, too good to be true. You still gotta put it in the work though. Force field, force field. Eagle. Eagle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a true mirror. Punish that. There we go. Oh, the Yo. That's punishable. Low eagle always punishable. Mid eagle though, that one is not. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, special. It's tough, man. Peacemaker has so many tools. I, I forgot he even has like the, 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 the dart, the up dart. It feels like Peacemaker does not have any bad matchups at all. Like it's at least a 5-5, I think, with the entire cast. That might be the... <laughs> no. He can do it again. I knew it. I knew it, Jordan. He just went at the end of the round. With the torpedo, MCO, he is just torpedoing his way to victory at this point. They really gave this character to VGY, man. You don't understand how scary this is. He always plays all this methodical, you know, Giga Brain character. They just gave him a Noonga Boonga strong character. This is dangerous, man. So dangerous to society right now. 
He sees like, what the hell did you just give me on this my matchup? <laughs> he hurts so much as well. Like literally, does just the BNB damage is ridiculous as well with this character. Overhead, your striker. Remember, striker is still there. By the way, we barely see striker used at all on video games. Yo's end. Off screen grenade. No. He ended every game with the yes. same brutal. I was about to mention that video games yo with a straight up statement to every single arena player out there that Peacemaker is looking dangerous. But everyone here with us right now, what can we say, Fabs? It is one of the latest streams we hosted in quite some time. And I want to be honest with you guys, even though I love every single one of you, I'm tired. That means I need some sleep. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you so much for being here today. A big, big shout out to my boy Fabs as well. I think it's the last time here today before you travel, Fabs, right? Yeah, I travel tomorrow and then I'm going to try and find the office, set everything up. And I'll try to be here at least for the Janet stream. At That's least right. for that one. At Fabs, least for that don't one. forget, we need you because otherwise, you know, what am I supposed to do without one of my favorite commentators next to me? Chat, have I'll a wonderful here. Sunday. Stay safe. Have a wonderful evening. Fabs and I, we're officially out. Bye-bye and take care.